Good morning and welcome to the Moore Mountains. Andrew and Ashley have found a week's holiday uh, here in the in the Moorns. Uh, I don't think we've ever stayed here for a week before, so we're going to go exploring. And today we're going to try and do our first walk. Um, it's called Chimney Rock. Now we need to find the, the start of it. Um, so we're going to be following the Moorn Wall. The weather actually isn't great this week, so we're just trying to squeeze in as many walks as we can. Um, hopefully um, the rain will stay off and we'll enjoy ourselves. So, so first job is to get in the car. <laughs> Drive to the start, find the start, and then follow the Morn Wall for a wee bit, and then follow this book. We're following a great book here. It's called Walking in Northern Ireland, the Morn Mountains, and we're going to try and do Walk Twenty Eight. Now, as you know, I don't always stick to the the agreed plan, but <laughs> let's see how we go. So, see you up there. Bye. And this is our view this morning from our cottage. And you can see the Irish Sea there on the clouds. But it's going to get better this morning. We're in for a good morning. Brilliant visibility today at this moment in time. That's a great view of the, the landscape that we're going to do, explore. Andre says it's the first hurdle. Your arrow, round seven footpath. There we go, up the steps, Andre. She has the book out and she's flying. I think that's our route up the hill there, but Andre will tell me. You just see the people up there, some four or five people. This is lovely. This is nice, isn't it, Andre? Well, oh, you've just been overtaken by runners. <laughs> there they are, you can see them bobbing in the, in the distance. Gosh. Right. The early days of the walk. I think once we get up, we'll have to readdress what we're wearing because I'm, I'm tough. Yeah. Now you can see some of the, the views of the Irish Sea. Gosh, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at how nice that is, Andre. This is quite a steep climb, definitely a tough one. So Andrea, that we have just climbed <laughs> round Seafin. Correct. And next summit is the one ahead. It's called Long Seafin. So it's a, weave it down and then up. Magnificent views now of the, of the morns. Binion's big. It's magnificent. That's tomorrow. It never uh, ceases to amaze me, Andre, how you can look elegant doing all this walking. Oh, yeah. Up to Long Seafin.
I think we turn right at the stile. There's a people waiting here, having a, a cup of tea probably. We might stop on the other side of the wall and have a coffee. Oh, we're just having a wee break. And uh, this is a lovely setting. Look, beautiful. So Andrew, how have you found it so far? Good. Pleasantly surprised with the weather. Yeah. Because we were expecting rain. It's yeah. been very nice. Yeah. Those ladies were very happy with the with the conditions too. So just looking at our route ahead, there's a little path down here which we follow. We cross a river and then we go over the hill, up up the hill there. And you can see our route, which is great. So we now have a little river to cross and then we we go up left and do like a terrace walk and then we do a ridge walk I think. So exciting times ahead. Now we have to ford the river. How is Andre going to cross this one? <laughs> well, you could go down to the narrowest point down there or you could just or you're just gonna cross the stones. Okay, go. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Go on, go in, go in. Very good, well done. Andrea. We're just we're just making a path to get up to the top here. So now we have to scramble up there. No clear path, which is tough. Really tough. So oh. Salt on the summit. Here she goes, here she goes. <laughs> Good last piece. Big executive decision to press on to to the next summit. Oh, great job, great job. Because the weather's starting to close in.
lunch is over and Andrea has set off the spring in her step. Oh, I don't feel like moving. We see our two gates. The two gates that are mentioned in the book. So one of these gates we go through. So, now we've got Spencer's River to get across. <laughs> I don't think Andrea's going to be doing any swimming today. This is nice. Got to cool down in there rightly, Andrea. Sometimes you have to back off and just let her go. Coats are back off. Good sign. And now we're moving forward in the direction back to the car. Oh. Now the book tells us this should bring us back to the spot where we were earlier this morning. And that would be good. Weary walker. <laughs> I think my feet are kind of wet. Oh dear. Back at the style where we started, Andre? Yes, indeed. Oh, I know what to say about that. And you're very friendly. The end is in sight, Andrea. Goodness. The cars are well packed in here now. And this is very busy. Great walk, great walk. And here's the Strava. Took us four hours. 50 minutes and we did 10.4 kilometers. Of course, it felt further than that, Andrew, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But nevertheless, great walk. Well done, Andre. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Peter, absolutely. So good. Oh, very wee tootsies. Oh, oh dear. It was good. Good.